hi guys welcome back to the next chess video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to learn about how we can add the bootstrap in the next chess so before going to start that i want to tell you that if you did not watch our previous uh, style uh, basic style tutorial then you can watch this uh, before going to go with the bootstrap in the next chess video tutorial uh, the reason being because here we just i will i was tell you the all about the basic things like why we use the jsx why we use the global and all these things and if you want to just go with this video then it's okay uh, now let's get started with the bootstrap so before going to bootstrap we have to add a component which is the head so just use import the import here head from and this is the parts of the next js so just simply write here next head all right after that uh, you can add anywhere in your application and the head tag will work the same like the header tag inside your uh, normal html page uh, because uh, here you can put your uh, title tag meta tags or whatever you want to put the links and all all right so now for try this just uh, check that in the basically you don't have any title and when whenever i just add a title then then it will show this title here all right nice so now let's add the bootstrap for adding the bootstrap just go to the google and just write bootstrap and uh, you can go to the simply bootstrap 3w3 schools because here we can easily get the links and classes okay so uh, on the start page you will find you must find a link tag here and we, where we have we, where we have the style class link all right so just after adding this you are able to add the bootstrap classes so let's say if you want to add the button then you can simply um, add, add the button like this and you can put whatever you wherever you want to put like this okay so let's check is it working no it's not working the reason being uh, we did not pass the uh, class name here so now just come here and just put the class name now let's check now it's working here yeah, you can see that uh, because uh, in the react or in the next JS, the class name is read uh, never actually uh, 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 class is never uh, readable all right so after that let's add some more things so let's say just try to add the nav bar let's go here and you can just simply copy this link okay and just go to the on nav bar here and replace the code all right and change every class with the class name for that you can just change all occurrence and just write here class name all right so now let's try now you can see that okay so we have to remove the earlier css because this is conflicting so just remove the old style tag so that we can just add uh, are able to see the uh the fresh css just remove the button also from here now you can see that uh this is a uh, looking simple and nice a uh, bootstrap class okay so i think it's a responsive also yeah this is responsive also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video tutorial in the next video we are going to learn how we can deploy the next year's build all right so stay with us and keep in touch don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching this video